Hey everyone, this is Bo from the Mario Server. I'm here to do a video on puppetry skills. Alright. So, puppetry is actually a pretty popular uh, skill set. A lot of people love to use it. It's really great. It has many, 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 many great uh, skills that can be used for solo, for group runs. So, I'm going to demonstrate that a bit right now. Do keep in mind, I am not the best puppet tree in the world, so I might fail a couple times, but, you know, I'm gonna try to demonstrate all the skills as possibly as I can. Alright, so first and foremost, for puppetry skills you need control bars! Here we go, control bars! These control bars. Well, any control bars, actually. And, um, you, if you can, may need a puppet mini. Now, you don't actually need a puppet mini. These extra puppet minis, what they do is they not only change the look of your puppet slightly a bit, uh, but they also add a little extra defense and protection. It's only one, not a huge difference, but you know, it, that's a thing. So, for example, if I summon my puppet right now, boom! Doom! That is my Colossus puppet! Without a mini. This is without a mini, and this is at a different uh, high rank. Um, I think, what rank am I? I am currently rank 4. Uh, the look of your Colossus, the look of your Periot, is going to look different depending on your rank. So if you guys are like looking at this and be like, What? My puppet doesn't look like this. It looks like a piece of like wood, like Pinocchio. Yeah, that's that's basically um, the starting uh, look. And then eventually it's going to like grow to some like, Woohoo! Um, Transformer. Alright, so now if I were to I'm gonna desummon that puppet. I'm gonna demonstrate you guys how the minis look like. So here is a student mini periot. Student mini periot. Little uh, kinda looks like a little girl, pretty much. Little girl, come here. And you can see for puppetry, your character is controlling the puppet. Um, see little strings? I think that's a pretty neat thing. One of the neat skills of Mabadogi. There hasn't been too many games that have like, like a puppetry type of skill. Um, and, but it's really kind of confusing to control at first because, um, your character kind of drags along with it. So you're, you're kind of like, yeah, you're kind of getting dragged along with it. Um, so that one is the student. Oh, it take it out and switch if it's gonna change. No, it's not gonna change. Next one I will show you guys is the Master Colossus. Master Colossus. Boom. Master Colossus. And these puppets actually can be dyed with um with like these puppet mini dyes, I believe. That you can either get in the cash shop or you can get them with seals. So that is that. Let me summon this one. This one is the advanced period. Advanced period. Not the student one, so it looks slightly a bit different. Outfits different. I'm just showing um, all the other puppet minis, just for those who actually want to see the difference between all of them. Alright, so this one's the uh, advanced Colossus mini. Literally looks like your uh, default Colossus, but you know, you can buy it. <laughs> And then last but not least, the Iron Man Colossus Mini. Boom. With claws. So that that's basically um, the whole point of the little minis is just the, the looks of it. I know I have horrible colors. I didn't bother dyeing these, but um, that's basically what these, uh, these are. All right. So there are many, many skills for puppetry. There is control marionette, marionette, what the heck, marionette, sorry. Uh, period, marionette, colossus, marionette. So let me just run down these three first. Control marionette is basically to, in summary, it's to hold your puppet. So right now I'm going to summon my colossus, sorry. Colossus Marionette, that is basically the skill I used, was to summon Colossus Marionette. This skill summons it, and ranking up this skill will increase the damage, critical, balance, HP, defense, protection, magical defense, magic protection um, of your Colossus Marionette. If you rank up your Periot, it does the Periot. Alright, 
So, control marionette is basically like, if I press control marionette, I let go my puppet. Press it again, I hold my puppet. Let go, hold, let go, hold. That is basically what the control marionette does. And at the same time, it ranks up your overall, like, uh, puppetry damage, critical balance. It says, gain 70% of puppetry tier damage. It basically, it's one of the skills that you want to rank up. If you're gonna be a puppet, a puppeteer, that is. Um, do know that you don't really need to actually use control marionette just to hook your, you know, your puppet. If I were to use another skill, like a different skill of combat puppet skill, I'll press it right now, it automatically just has my character grab the hook onto the puppet. So you don't really need to technically hotkey this unless, you know, for some odd reason, all the skills were on cooldown and you couldn't use it. <laughs> So, um, that is, uh, one thing to keep in mind that you can try to activate it by pressing, let's see, if I press right here, crisis, automatically hook. So, control marionette isn't really needed to hook puppets. Alright, so, run down on the list of skills I have up here. Act 2, threshold cutter. Act 2, threshold cutter. And then, act 1, inciting incident. Uh, no, I gotta show an example. I will show an example when I go inside, but I'll just say right now, Act 2 is like one that deals a heavy blow. Think of it as like a smash, if you will. It's like a smash attack for like puppets, but not really. Um, Act 1, Inciting Incident, is is going to be, um, it's a skill that makes your puppet just literally dash to the enemy um, quickly and then like boom boom hit uh, and can stun apparently. I didn't know that. But that is uh, what Inciting Incident does. It's kind of like a charge, I guess. Think of it as a charge for um, puppets. Act 4 is... Wait, not Act... I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say Act 4 yet. I'm going to say Act 6. Act 6. Act 6 is a Crisis. And it is one of the most popular skills in Mabinogi. For puppets, it is basically a skill that has your puppet wire pull and drag all of the enemies around it into one single spot. I'm pretty sure many people seen this skill. Uh, it is a very useful skill for crowd control. Um, and that is what it does. Crisis is to pull all the enemies into one spot. And then the most common skill used right after Crisis is Rising Action. And Rising Action is basically your character is just gonna go like it's like a stomp it does like a boom damage or like a if you use a parry it's gonna do like a kind of like a windmill damage in a way windmill looking damage and it just like hits aoe style kind of so that is rising action um the next skill that's most likely used right after rising action is um climatic crash Climatic Crash, you actually have to hold down the button uh, to use a skill. Hold down and aim. Think of it as like Focus Fist. Hold it down and aim at where you want to let your puppet go, run wild. And it's going to um, just run in that direction or spin in that direction. Um, and that is basically Climatic Crash. It's going to do some heavy blows in a single straight line. And last, let's see, invigorating on 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 encore, encore. There you go, Invig invigorating encore. Where's in my list? There it is. Basically, if you have this skill activated, and it actually, no, let me start over. If in order to actually activate the skill, you need to increase your puppetry bar. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly on my screen, but you can see this little bar right next to my character. This little meter bar. This gets filled up every time you start using other puppetry skills. Um, some give more than others, so kind of gauge the meter at what gives the most and stuff like that. Uh, once it gets to a full bar, you're able to use Invigorating Encore, and what that does, it, it lets the marionette just control by itself. You don't need to even hold it. It starts to fight on its own, um, and apparently it says it does some extra bonus damage. It, it, it's, it's going to act like a pet, basically. Um, I don't really use this skill too often, but uh, it's a pretty good skill if you are um, 
you're kind of like troubled in a way with too much stuff around you. The next last two skills are skills that are used without the puppet. I'm going to let go of my puppet here. Uh, is wire pull and puppet snare. One of the most tedious skills actually to rank. Wire pull is a, is a skill that actually has your character grab onto a single enemy and pull it towards you. So you're going to, it's like, it's like dragging, dragging the enemy to you. And then puppet snare is literally um, you holding onto a single enemy in place, like snaring. That's that's why it's called puppet snare. You're you're basically holding it down into one spot. Uh, so that is basically all of the puppet skills. I'm pretty sure I covered all of them. I think. I think. Now I'm gonna demonstrate them. So let's go inside. Let's go inside. I don't have no Master of Crisis title, so my radius is not that great. But I do have a uh, Crisis Radius 13 level on my Reforge. Alright, so this is going to be fairly quick, so keep your eyes peeled. Hopefully I don't fail. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate uh, Crisis, because that is the one most popular skill a lot of people uh, tend to uh, use. So, Crisis. Here we go. Let's do Crisis. Alright. So, Crisis is going to pull all enemies together. And then, boom. That skill was rising action. Now, if I can get the next skill to be done. Nope, nope. Can't. That is the one difficult thing about puppets. Come on. You can't always switch between different puppets, though. If one dies, actually. Let's see if I can use... I'm gonna go ahead and use Threshold Cutter. Threshold Cutter! Boom! That's the Threshold Cutter. <laughs> and then uh, the next skill I'm gonna use is uh, Inciting Incident, which is the one that dashes forward like a charge, in a way. So it's gonna go, go like, boom! Dash. You can see my uh, puppet just kind of like dash forward. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and use um, Climatic Crash, if I can. Nope. Nope. Hold on. Take a break, guys! Yeah, that is the horrible thing about switching between skills. I don't know where Pusehaki might- okay, there's my puppet. I told you guys I wanted not the best puppeteer in the world. Okay. Oh. Long skill. All right, so that's the skill. It's literally a straight line dashing forward. It doesn't look the same for all puppets. It, it's gonna be different for diff you know all the other puppets. Uh, let's see. Now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do wire pull. I'm gonna wire pull that golem towards me. Come to me. That is wire pull. And then puppet snare. Puppet snare. Puppet snare. That golem. I can't reach him. Can I reach him? Invalid target. What? Okay. I guess I can't puppet snare golems. <laughs> I'm puppet snare that alchemist. See? So that is puppet snare. It's holding in place so he can't move anymore. As you can see, uh, I have to do it without my puppet. I can't do it with my puppet. So that's a thing. Summon my puppet. And as you can see, as I start to use all these puppet skills on my character, it's... or on my puppets, it's slowly building up the um, meter bar around me right here. Oh god. And do know that they actually aggro your puppet. So if you're if you're actually you know if aggro is going too much for you you can always switch between puppets. So then they don't die. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, dying dying puppets is the most annoying thing ever. No, I failed. My puppet's gonna die. I need to demonstrate a dying puppet. Okay, puppet suicide. It can also be used as a meat shield, of course. <laughs> Let me just kill this one guy here. Oh god, rubber band. Kill. Oh no, I killed them both. Darn it. 
Okay, I need to demonstrate a dying puppet. Actually, no, wait. Before I demonstrate the dying puppet, do you know you can actually heal your marionettes uh, with marionette potions, which I barely ever use. Or if you have a cloud that heals, you can summon a cloud. This is the most popular um, way to heal your puppets. Is that it? Oh, I don't have to go to the next room. Let's go to the next room. Oh, you don't have to worry about bringing your puppet with you. You can just leave it behind and it's cool. Okay, let's see. Oh. Uh, Alright. So, summon that puppet. I'm pretty much doing the combo over and over so you guys can get the general idea of how it works. I failed. Nope, nope, I failed. Oh hey, they're stuck. I failed and they're stuck. Yeah, they're stuck. Wow, that is sad. Okay. <laughs> So that is basically how, um, uh, whatchamacallit, Climatic Crash looks like with the Colossus Marionette. You saw how, how it looks like with the Periot, but now that's how it looks like with the Colossus. And boom. I need to get one to kill my puppet. Okay. Please kill my puppet. Oh shoot, I did summon it. Please kill my puppet. But don't kill me! They're all stuck anyways. Alright, okay, okay, there is my puppet, my dead puppet. Uh, once your puppet is dead, you can't, of course, control it. So you're actually gonna have to use, um... Shoot, do I have any? You're gonna have to use... Aha! Marionette repair sets. You can buy them from Hue or you can get them. Craft them. So that's how you actually have to revive them. It's not as quick as using a phoenix feather, so it's a little bit annoying to have your pet, your puppets die. Heal up, and that is basically puppetry. Oh god, that lag. Alright, so basically puppetry is a skill that is mostly- most people tend to use it for crisis, um, to bring enemies together in like martial arts, or even in uh, lord runs, or you know, pika runs, just to like bring all the mobs into one area to make it easier for everyone to just land a heavy blow or a heavy uh, magic attack or a anything that, that just hits one spot uh, makes it easy for them to kill. Um, you definitely will uh, need to get a higher rank, higher rank to make it stronger, to make it, uh, to make Crisis more better in, in uh, Radius or even Reforges. Hopefully this video was helpful. I know it wasn't the best video in the world in terms of uh, skill um, presentation. But uh, if you guys have any other uh, questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Alright, thanks you guys for watching and that is Puppet Skills. Puppet. Puppet Skills. The Puppet. The, where the Puppet? There's the Puppet. There's the Puppet. They look cool.